So yeah, I haven't been getting much sleep lately. I just keep thinking about Burger King and its mascot, the King, and all his crappy games and how there's just one left to review. Yeah, I try putting it off, but you can't run away forever. It's time to face my fears. It's time to face Big Bumpin'. Big Bumpin' is one of three King games. These were games released by Burger King. Yes, that Burger King. The first game I reviewed, Sneak King, was just weird enough to be good. I mean, it wasn't really well made, but it was quirky and interesting. The next game, Pocket Bike Racer, was surprisingly competent. It wasn't the best racing game ever, but far from the worst. I mean, they're games based on the exploits of a fast food mascot. You expect them to be absolute jokes, but somebody put a little bit of work into them. Somebody actually tried with the first two games. Big Bumpin', well, it's about as bad as you expect it to be. No, wait, no, it's actually somehow worse. Big Bumpin' is abysmal. So in this game, you participate in a number of bumper car related events. Yeah, it sounds like it could be fun, I guess. Nah, not really. Why would you want to drive a bumper car in a video game? I mentioned this kind of in the Pocket Bike Racer episode where it's like, look, it's a video game, you can put anything you want in it, so why something as stupid as a pocket bike? Why not have the king racing around on a Harley Davidson? Well, similar principle applies here. Why is he in a bumper car? Shouldn't this be like a monster truck derby, you know? Something actually completely badass and awesome? Nah, no, it's bumper cars. Lots and lots of bumper cars. Okay, well, let's just do a quick rundown of the events. Well, by doing that, I'm basically just reviewing the entire game because that's all it is. But we'll get to that later. Uh, first up is bumpin' hockey. Yeah, that's pretty much what it sounds like, and I'm kind of embarrassed to say that title. Bumpin' hockey, it sounds pretty lame if you ask me. That's coming from a Canadian, you know? We, we take hockey very seriously. Well, I don't, but my fellow Canadians do, I guess. And they would be offended if they ever saw bumpin' hockey in action. What you do is you try to get the puck into the other team's net. It sucks. Like, like it looks like it could maybe have potential, but it's just a mess. There's no way to control where that puck is going to go. There's no way to shoot, and there's definitely no way to block. Next up, we got Last Man Standing. Yeah, in this one, you just kind of try and knock each other off in the pits. It's kind of like that one mini game from the uh, original Mario Party on Nintendo 64. Except worse. Yeah, how is that possible? How is this worse than one of like 60 mini games? Like, I guess everything you need for a good last man standing kind of bumper car bout is there, but it just doesn't add up. It's really hard to control and the obstacles aren't very inspired. And if you're playing alone against the AI, well, it's just no fun at all. These guys are either too dumb or just too ruthless. I swear they team up on you sometimes. Which brings me to the next one, Power Surge. It must have been the template for extraction in Halo 4. <laughs> I kid, it's obviously not. But uh, in this game, you basically go from generator to generator, collecting power surges. Yeah, because because you want more power in your bumper car. I don't know. The, the problem is, it seems like the AI just hates you. I swear the other three bumper cars are just out to get me. As long as one of them is going for it, it's okay. They'll try and cock block me and keep me away from the power surges. And if I'm going for it, they're all hot on my tail. What's up with that? And of course there's a own the puck. It's kind of like bumping hockey because it has a puck. But in this one, you kind of want to just keep it to yourself. You know, like keep away. What is this, grade two? And the last game is like a hot potato game where you have like this 
you know, it's like hot potato. There's not really anything else to say. The thing is, that's Big Bump in a nutshell right there. You got these five events, and you play them. You can win modifications for your bumper car, and this also has a create a character mode, like Pocket Bike Racer did. But it's all mostly just pointless crap to make it look like there's more going on than there actually is. Pocket Bike Racer had different difficulties and tracks, and, you know, it was actually fun to play. This one's just boring and lame. The main single player experience is just playing the same events over and over again. There is literally nothing to hold your attention. Multiplayer might be more fun, but that's assuming you have three friends crazy or bored enough to play with you. Or maybe you can pay them, but you should just use that money to buy a better game. Bumper cars, man. Why it have to be bumper cars? Could have been anything else. Anything. I'm pretty sure, like, you can make a better game about rock collecting. Yeah, like, what if you had to go around and find certain rocks in certain places to complete your collection, right? And sometimes the quest for very specific rocks would take you to dangerous places like caves filled with bats and giant spiders and other things of horrific nature. Yeah, you can make rock collecting pretty damn intense. Maybe, you could argue, more intense than bumper cars. I'd certainly believe it. The main problem is the game's just completely random. There's no getting good at it. Once you learn how to drive properly, which is actually harder than it should be, that's it. That's all there is. And you think, oh, maybe I'm pretty good at bumping people around. I'm kind of a pushy guy. Well, it's not going to help you do any better in Big Bumpin'. Even the back of the box says, forget about skill. Like, that's the first thing it says. Well, huh, forget about playing this game. Come on, what's the point of playing a game if it's just random? Why don't we just go play Yahtzee, right? Yahtzee's, like, completely random. Graphically, it's alright, and pretty much on par with Sneak King and Pocket Bike Racer. I think they used a lot of the same assets during development, and of course they're making three games at once, why not? The only problem is the camera's panned back so far, it's really hard to make out the details, or where you are. And of course, all your favorite characters are back, the king and the giant chicken, and... Okay, this, this is good, I've done some research since the last review, and I know who the smoking hot girl in the Joel Robinson style jumpsuit actually is. She's model slash actress, Brooke Burke. Yes. Okay, I don't really know who that is, but in the whole marketing campaign for Burger King, she was actually the king's wife slash girlfriend. One of the two. Either way, damn. Seriously. Whoa-wee. Wow-wee. Ho-ho-ho. Anyway, this is getting a bit weird. Needless to say, you should never, ever play this game. End of story. I mean, even if it's like a joke, like you just want to put on something funny and get a laugh out of it, why don't you just pop on uh, Sneaking? That one's actually entertaining. That one's actually interesting. That one I'd almost recommend you play, just for the fact that you can say, I played Sneaking. Big Bumpin', you don't want to admit that you've played it. That's disgraceful. People will point at you and laugh. After playing this game for an extensive period of time, about an hour, trust me, with this game that's extremely extensive, I've come to the conclusion that I never, ever want to go on a bumper car again. I don't care how much fun I used to have in bumper cars, that time has passed. I've played Big Bumpin', I'm done with them for life.